My name is Neil Armstrong. I've been photographing fish for at least 40 years now. Around about 1974, I saw my very first ever Goya River trifasciata. This fish was so beautiful, I just had to photograph it. And that's when I found out there was nothing written at all about fish photography. So I had to teach myself. Getting the Gorge River Trifasciata on the film, the way it looked so beautiful was the challenge that started me. You have to have an SLR camera. That is the main first requirement. The modern SLR is this camera. The name on the camera doesn't matter. They will all do the job. Now a single lens reflex camera is unique in the respect that you can remove the lens and put on any lens you like. So you have the SLR camera, you have a 100mm macro lens, my choice and the choice of many for all nature photography. Now you can buy a good performing SLR for about $600, $800. You can buy a Canon macro brand new for about no more than about $750 now. An expensive part is the top of the range flash gun. That is about $800. Now this is where most people have never photographed fish before come undone. They put it onto the camera setting onto program or aperture priority or shutter speed priority. You must be on manual which means that you control everything the camera does. It's very important when you're focusing on fish that are moving, focus on the eyes. The eyes must be sharp. Focus to the size of the fish that you want to photograph. You try not to fill the whole frame without give yourself a bit of latitude left and right. Once you've pre-focused on the fish you're photographing, you can follow that fish and you've got to move backwards or forwards to keep the fish in focus. You don't keep focusing the lens. You've got to be quick enough to move back and forwards with the fish. To get a good photograph, very sharp, of a fish, you need flash. There's two techniques you can use. So this technique is having the flash angle down to a fish. Because your viewfinder is sharp, you can pre-focus manually and then I would just move backwards and forwards and take the photographs of the fish as I want to. The other technique is you can tilt the flash head up in the air like that and you have just the lid of a polystyrene box and then it will reflect down onto the tank from above which gives a very nice spread of light over the whole tank. The other reason for having the flash bounce down off a reflector is that some fish are extremely reflective and the top light tends to take away the flare. An aperture setting for a fish that is a yellow in colour or yellow grey might be f16. So you start to photograph a fish that is jet black, you might well open up the aperture to f11 uh, because a blackish fish will tend to underexpose. If the fish is silvery that you're photographing and you were photographing at f16 I think I said, then you may have to uh, close it down to f22 to a smaller aperture for a fish that is extremely silver. But sometimes you may have to make a slight variation depending on the fish you're photographing. Now, as regards the aquarium, the aquarium must have no scratches on it. 
crystal clear water and I like a light brown gravel. Be comfortable when you're sitting and photographing. If you feel yourself getting uncomfortable around the neck and shoulders, give yourself a break. Stop. In a photography tank where you want the best results on a particular fish, no more than two fish. If you have too many fish, that lovely shot you might have got can be ruined by another fish swimming in front of it. If the fish are new to you and you know very little about them, you may find you don't even know how much they colour up. So try and find out what potential they have for extreme colour. If you want to keep doing it, be dedicated. Don't be sloppy. Treat it as if every shot was essential. And photograph when you're in the mood. Sometimes you don't feel like it. If it's not essential and the fish are happy, wait until next day. And from then on, it really is practice, practice, practice. Don't learn a little bit today and then stop for three months. You will forget. Don't just rely on entirely what I've said. Be prepared to experiment. I'm Neil Armstrong, as I said at the start. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope it's been helpful. That was the intention. And um, I've given you about as much as I can to start with. And it's more than I to start with. But believe me, if you work on it, you'll achieve it. Just be dedicated.